Samsung launches yet another variant of its Galaxy Note 4, and we're calling it the Prime. Apple changes its refund policies, at least for certain customers in the world. And we're mixed about all the rumors regarding HTC and CES 2015. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, I know Mondays are tough, but even tougher are the ones between the two holidays. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's begin today with what's official as, yes, Samsung has launched yet another Galaxy Note 4 variant. Uh, but interesting, the company's not really telling us much about things like the processor, for example. What we do know is that it is an LTA smartphone, meaning this is pretty much what we would call the Galaxy Note 4 Prime, even though the display is pretty much the same, and everything else is the same. Links to the search for full details. Uh, let's see if we ever have a chance to review it, even though we don't know if there's really a difference to even mention. This is just the carrier variant for certain specific reasons. Regions. And speaking of Samsung, let's talk about a new and very interesting move that's being rumored for the company. The Galaxy Alpha it hasn't really taken the world by storm. You know, it's smaller, uh, less specced uh, smartphone that's made of aluminum. Uh, rumors are that the company is planning to retire the Galaxy Alpha, but not the lineup per se. The company is apparently going to replace the Galaxy Alpha with the Galaxy A5, which is not necessarily a hot smartphone. Apparently this will happen sometime in January. Uh, let's see why. I've got some very mixed uh, rumors regarding HTC. Uh, the company is uh, rumored to be launching its HTC HEMA flagship for CES, which is odd since we were expecting for that to happen sometime within April or probably MWC, but uh, some reports claim that it might happen at CES. And then we've got other conflicting rumors that say the company is planning to launch a mid-range or an entry-level smartphone at CES, and that's the way they plan to start the year. Again, we'll be at CES covering everything live, and we hope Hopefully, we'll bring something to report on. Now let's move the spotlight over to Apple. One of the things that people hate the most about the Cupertino kids are the fact that if you purchase anything digitally, uh, according to the iTunes uh, terms of purchase, uh, well, that's really it. You have no option for a refund, and uh, they say that every purchase is final. But it seems that the European Union has been making things a little difficult for Apple, up to the point where the company is apparently opening this new 14-day period for you to ask for a refund. But the reason why I say apparently is because uh, it seems that it will only work if you have not downloaded the product, meaning if it's an application, then it really doesn't mean that it'll work. But uh, links in the description and we will be giving this a try eventually to tell you if it really works or not. And finally, for the very interesting news of the day, again, CES, and everything up to the next couple of days will be CES. It seems that uh, Qualcomm is teasing a partnership with LG for a new Snapdragon 800 type processor to be announced at CES. Now, bear in mind, uh, LG has been used in the past for a lot of Qualcomm Snapdragon launches, so it could be the Snapdragon 810, it could be another Snapdragon that we don't know about, but we know that it's an 800 variant. And this is really interesting as uh, we weren't really expecting any flagships to be launched by LG at this event, and now it seems that we will be getting something, but it leads me to the question of the day. Whenever you buy a smartphone, how important is the processor information? Meaning, are you the type of guy or girl that would only buy a smartphone if it's a Snapdragon 800 something or stuff like that? Because in my particular case, I remember when the Snapdragon 800 came out, it was really important for me to buy one because of its battery life capabilities. And uh, yeah, it became important for me, but leave us a comment down below and tell us your experience. Friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video was filmed, make sure you follow us on PluggingOut.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.